basically you're looking at the orbits and you don't got to do all this scrolling around back and forth stuff if you don't want to you get confused with all these different uh, anatomy all over this place just sit, sit right here I just grab the orbits and I just sit on them like, and are they fractured top bottom side to side medial lateral same thing on the left same thing with the maxillary sinuses which are right underneath so they got a top a side and a side uh, they're kind of triangular we'll take another look on sagittal and they'll have a more square appearance but uh but that's pretty much it there I grab one of these over here you got the orbit right here on the side i just grab this right here and that's the zygomatic arch so um if, uh, if you get Mike Tyson in the front, the orbits go. If he comes at you from the side, we're looking at the zygomatic arch. So I'm checking to see if that's intact. I run that all the way back here, and then I just grab the mandible and just run it right through. And you can see 100% of the mandible on every single face, especially in this, in this projection. We're looking at the orbits, we're looking at the maxilla, right? You see here, the maxilla has a nice square appearance. So again, top, bottom, front and back. Is it fractured? Yes or no? Usually if there's fracture, there's fluid inside of it, but in any case, you get a good look at it here on the Sag. If you want to look at the top and the bottom of the orbit, another good view of it right there. You got your condyle, your coronoid, you got the TMJ, and you just run the mandible right through. You see 100% of the mandible. You can tell with complete definity if there's a mandibular fracture or not. Nasal bones, you certainly look at them. Um, nasal bones, you don't have to be 100% right. You just have to point them a certain way. Does it look fractured? Does it not? If it looks fractured, you say it looks fractured. Sometimes you know for sure it's fractured. If you're not sure, you can say you're not sure. Sometimes it's a chronic deformity. Uh, but I realized after the years, you don't have to be 100% on that. You just have to kind of guide them. And that's about it. That is it for facial bones.